Hello and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video and in this video I want to show you how you can work with the grid of the Power BI table. So we have created this Power BI table using this table option. I have selected the table and then added the three fields which is category and uh, profit and uh, sales as you can see subcategory. So subcategory is actually down there over here subcategory sales and profit a very simple table which almost every report or dashboard use it one way or another but you may have to format it for example you want to show some vertical lines to separate this or the vertical lines or you may want to have some space right so for all of those requirements we have the option within power bi to do the formatting in this format option but you need to make sure the table is selected so i have selected this table and we have this format option down there we have grid so once we click on grid you have couple of more options first thing is vertical grid vertical grid is this line which is vertical right once you enable this you will see a very light line if you can but let me make it visible very clearly by choosing the black color all right now you have this line which is black line right that's what i meant and you have the option as you can see you can choose this line or if you want to choose this line based on the formatting that you are planning or the theme that you are planning you can choose this once you have chosen this you have vertical grid thickness so you can change the thickness of this line by adding it more as you can see it is very thick now or reducing it let's say to only two okay you also have horizontal grid that means horizontal lines are present but since they are with the gray color or a very light gray color you are not able to see it so to make it visible let me again choose the black color so now the black color as you can see is coming right and now the horizontal thickness is again you can change based on the need right so i'll just make it one i will make this also one and down there you have the row padding that means a space between the row and text will be created so if you as you can see i am increasing it there is more space that is coming so that your text values will be looking good the only thing is another thing is it will going to take a little bit more space on your dashboard so that way you can choose the row padding and as you can see it is giving some space between the cell or uh, under the cell you get some space and it is clearly visible your text is clearly visible now you have outline color like this one you can choose whatever you like for example if i choose dark blue accordingly it will change to dark blue similarly you can change the outline weight to 2 to 3 to 4 or whatever you want right finally the last option you have is the text size and the text size is is basically this text so right now it is 10 point and you can change this to whatever you want and you can see as you are increasing the size the padding is changing itself based on what we have specified so if we keep on increasing the size it will keep on adjusting the padding so that whatever be the size is your padding is making sure that your values are properly visible or they have they are not very shrink or uh, they are not very uh, closer to the uh, boundaries of the cell right so that way you can adjust the padding the way you want and get the best output all right so that's mainly i wanted to show you the grid related formatting over here which is very useful if you let's say for any reason want to go back to original state then you can come down to here and click on revert to default and you will going to get where we started right so that's 
the grid formatting or the grid settings i wanted to show you just so that you have the maximum control on your text table now with that i'll meet you in the next video with a new topic